You know, disease, I think of disease as usually a problem of syntax, mm -hmm. that bad language is the cause of ill health. And what, you know, people's reaction to that can range from that it's a revelation to that they can't understand what you're saying, you know, how this could even be. But uh, all these forms of disequilibrium have to do with how you perceive yourself in the world and this is linguistically mediated even in the privacy of your own head and uh, you see it very much with children they learn uh, diseases mm -hmm. they learn mm -hmm. syndromes of disequilibrium mm -hmm. and they can unlearn them too if they can be deconditioned mm -hmm. so in that sense then I think you said before that um, having better maps will somehow decrease our anxiety and suffering for the future. What I feel you saying now is it's not so much that, but my own feeling is transformation of the self is what's going to s stop the suffering no matter what form we use. It may be intuitively right to use drugs at one moment and to swim at another. That's right. History is full of examples of near-death experiences and sexual experiences that have opened windows. That's absolutely that's correct. An intuitive private matter at that level. It's a totally public matter at another right. level, and just what level do you want to talk from? The self is the central modality to be dealt with. I mean, that's what I mean when I say you can't accept ideology imposed from above or it will <coughs> create neurosis. We must yeah. each realize how important the self is, that it is in fact ultimately important and then try and create a, uh, a personality, a self-image, and a society that's based on that. And we have been robbed of our experience, you know? And even in earlier cultures about which we may feel very ambiguous, like let's say the, the peak of medieval Christianity, which has certainly uh, had dubious aspects about it. <laughs> Nevertheless, <laughs> the stress on self-examination, prayer, uh, being straight with yourself about where you were vis-a-vis -vis the commission of evil acts, these interiorized states uh, throw you back upon the self in the way that these prepackaged ideologies do not. I often think, you know, uh, I was raised Catholic and my children have nothing to do with that. I won't let it near them. But I often wonder what they're missing being ages uh, three and six uh, by not walking around thinking about sanctifying grace and the eight beatitudes and uh, whether or not they have sinned against the fifth, fourth, sixth, and ninth <laughs> commandments. And, because this was my interior world as a six-year-old. And, you know, after making a good confession, I would search for the sanctifying grace that I knew must now be mine. And uh, it was a state of interiorized self-examination that for, though it may have been wrong-headed in many ways, the central notion that you are responsible for yourself is very important to retain. All these shaman are responsible for themselves. That's what they really are. They are responsible people. Mm -hmm. And once you have it, it's hard to lose. And once they take it away from you, it's very hard to recreate. This is why, you know, we are all, you know, some of us may feel that our lives are not as satisfying as we wish, or we are not as realized as we wish. But we must represent uh, you know, the upper point oh oh one percent of people on earth locked in these kinds of concerns. Most people, it never is an issue. They are so locked in the modalities dictated from above that they never realize that they are alive or that they had any opportunity that could come from within. And this is a, a tragedy. I mean, I am not a reincarnationist. I take life very seriously. This may be the only crack you ever get at uh, immortality. So to blunder it away by uh, accepting prepackaged ideologies and that sort of thing, there can't be 
any greater tragedy than that, you know. We all have an obligation to create a language that values us and the people around us. And this begins with a language that values the self. And our experiences, experience, this is the central thing above and beyond all else.